Alexa, stop. Up and down. Right now in Kirkland, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 79 degrees and a low of 64 degrees. My name is Carissa and welcome back. I've decided that I'm gonna do a vlog today. I've been just watching, I don't know, a ton of YouTube like I normally do and I was just inspired by watching everyone else vlogging that I was like, you know what? I wanna vlog. And I just like, I don't know, I love watching vlogs. I think they're so interesting. So I wanted to, to give it a go for myself. I know it's been about a million years since I last posted a video, so. Um, so I'm very excited about it. I'm just gonna do a day in my life video. And you can just follow me around to see what I'm up to today. I do have a pretty busy day, a lot of stuff to do. So I think it'll be entertaining and fun, at least I'm hoping so. But as of right now, I am going to go have breakfast. And then after I'm done eating, I am going to work for a bit and then I'm going to get ready uh, to start my day. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I did just recently get my hair done. Um, at this point, it was two days ago. So I did bring my camera and I did film some of that. So I wanted to insert the footage here um, while I'm eating and working and getting ready. So something interesting to show at least, but I'm um, pretty, excited about it. I do like it. You can't really see it right now. So, um, haha. So you're gonna have to wait and see in a second. But I did, um, I mentioned it in the clip, I believe, but it was a year, a year since the last time I did my hair. I got my hair done and I can't believe I waited that long. It's kind of ridiculous when I think about it. But anyway, so I kind of just got freshened up um, with the color and a cut and all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, you can go ahead and watch that and then I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I have to go inside for my appointment in one minute, but I wanted it to show the before because I haven't had, I haven't gotten my hair done and I would say in almost a year. And so I am so excited for this appointment. Um, I don't quite know what I'm gonna do. For sure I'm gonna get a cut. It's looking really just gross and thin. So I feel like I'm gonna get at least a couple of inches off. Um, but as far as the color, I feel like I'll always do something similar, but I'm gonna let Elle decide what we're gonna do. So, cause I like that when it grows out, it's not as noticeable since I don't come in to get my hair done a ton. Um, so I like it to blend a little bit, but I like it to seem kind of highlighty um, and stuff like that. This isn't making sense. I'm not a hairstylist. But anyways, I'm gonna go in for my appointment. I go to Chromatique Salon. I'm sitting right in front of it and I'm looking at it. And yeah, I go and see Elle. Elle is my best friend slash neighbor slash hairstylist. Really funny story on how we met, but. I'm gonna be like, what the hell? I know. A bit of a preview, right? Um, preview. Okay. With my ratty yeah. hair. <laughs> Super hot. Up 
And it looks better for real clothes on. I think the cape doesn't look as cute. Well, you don't think it'll ever be in style? <laughs> Hello, this length is really good too. Yeah. How pink. So here is the final look. I love it so much. I always like to wash it and see how it looks like in a few days, you know? Like once it wears for a little bit. I'm officially ready for the day. So we are gonna go do a few things. I need it to, what do I need to do? So I need to go to the mall. I have a few returns that I'm going to do. Um, and what else? I need to go to UPS. I need to drop off a package. And I need to go to Home Depot. And there's a few other things in the mall that I need to do too. So I'm gonna try to go do all that. I got a package from Aritzia and I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. So I ended up getting two jackets and here, hang on. So I ended up getting two jackets, like big puffer jackets. I got it in so black, but then also like this taupey color. Super cute. I'll show you what they look like on in a second. And then I also got this cardigan. It has like a little wrap. Um, super cute. So it's just like a huge oversized puffer jacket. I cannot explain to you like how soft and like cozy this is. It's like the softest material. They say that so premium goose down is what it is. It says warmest down to negative 30 degrees Celsius or 22 degrees Fahrenheit for seriously cold days when winter is at its worst. These sold out last year and I really wanted to get them so that's why I'm already making coat purchases when it's August. <laughs> I thought might as well. And then I really, really like this color. It's just super cute. Oh, the pockets aren't open. But yeah. So, for size reference, so for size reference, I am, I'm 5'1", I'm pretty petite. And in these jackets, I ended up actually getting a triple extra small. So though, that's pretty small. I usually, and for reference, I guess even further, in Aritzia stuff, I typically wear an extra extra small or an extra small. Um, but I do find that jackets, it's really hard for me to find one that fits because I am so petite. So we typically have to size down. Hi, checking in. So I just got done at the mall. Super exciting. It is lunchtime and I am fucking starving. Um, I need to eat something. I'm thinking I might go, end up going to Whole Foods and getting a juice just because it sounds really good. Um, so I might do that, but speaking of food, so I'm going to be going over to my boyfriend's house, his name's Juan, tonight, and when we were texting earlier, he was saying that he was going to go to Whole Foods as well, and that he was probably going to get salmon, so that's what we would probably have for dinner, and I was like, ooh, shit, that's fancy. I don't typically have salmon that often, so... Maybe it would be good, a nice little change. Because he usually has chicken and like some sort of vegetable or salad or couscous or something, you know? So that'll be good. Right now I need to go to Home Depot. Super boring, super adulting. I need to see if they have like a circular light bulb in stock for my kitchen. I feel like it's dying, the one currently in the kitchen, and it's just like super yellow and super 
dim so I want to see if they have like a brighter light bulb I know I'm going on about a light bulb like it's not that exciting but yeah after that I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods get a juice see if there's anything like lunch wise that I can grab from there otherwise I feel like I'm thinking I'm gonna go home and just make something I have um, stuff to make like avocado toast and that sounds pretty good and maybe I can have like some other snack um, or something like that so that's currently my plan um, when I was at the mall I ended up getting got like this little soap I'm going to be traveling this upcoming weekend week um, for Labor Day I'm gonna be going to San Diego and LA with my sister. Super excited about it. We've never been on a trip together and yeah, I think it's just gonna be so much fun. Just a lot of beach vibes and hanging out and hiking and just a bunch of like that sort of stuff. So um, I needed a like a body soap, like a, a travel size one. Cause I have that one, but in a larger one back like at my house right now. And I just needed a smaller one to travel with. So yeah, so while I was at the mall, I just stopped and got that really, really fast, so. Just got in the car, got my juice, and mm, it's so good. I got the green lemonade. I forget what's in it. I know there's apple, lemon. I think it, okay, I think it's apple, lemon, celery, and cucumber. So it's pretty sweet. It's so refreshing though. Oh my gosh. So, really funny story. I, while I was at like Home Depot after that, I forgot that there was a Whole Foods right next to it. And so I went to that Whole Foods, not one that I normally go to, right? And um, to get my juice, because I am so hungry, it's ridiculous. And so I go, go in, it's lunchtime, so it's super busy. It took me a while to try to park, so that was annoying. And then I, take a sip. Um, so I go in and I'm trying to find the juice bar. And it, mind you, it's like a bigger Whole Foods than the one close to me. And so I couldn't find it. It was nowhere to be found. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I spent all this time to go to this specific Whole Foods and then there's nothing that I wanted. Oh, so frustrating. So I uh, ended up with my original plan and went to the Whole Foods that I was planning on going to anyways to get my juice. I thought I was gonna save time, honestly. Yeah, not that didn't work out. Ah, so good. So anyways, now that I'm here, <clears throat> now that I'm here, I got my juice. There's a Chipotle in the same parking lot. And so I feel like I am going to get it. I like to have Chipotle like once a week. I just think it's way too good not to. So anyway, so we're gonna drive over there. We're gonna just totally wait to have my avocado toast that I was planning on having. I just like, I don't know. I just, I just don't think that that would fill me up at this point. You know like when you get to a point where you're just way too hungry and you just need a chow down on some food so that's where i'm currently at with my life hi i'm gonna do a burrito bowl to go i'll do white rice with pinto beans please uh no meat Uh, no, that's okay. Can I do pico? Yes. Sour cream. 
cheese and guacamole. Thank you. Okay. I think we're good. That's not very stable. You're sitting on a water bottle right now. Just so you know. Might be a little off balance. But anyways, what I was trying to say is that when I was at Home Depot, I realized that I also needed spare keys made because as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be in... I'm gonna be going to San Diego and LA with my sister this Sunday. And so while I'm away, Juan is going to watch good old Oliver, who is currently checking out the Chipotle. What a weirdo. Okay. And so I'm so happy because usually my neighbor, slash my hairstylist, slash my best friend, she sometimes watches Oliver for me, her and her husband, so I'm so grateful for that. But she's, I don't wanna bother her, and I think she's gonna be out of town anyways, and Juan, this is the first time ever, <laughs> I feel like since we've been together that we're not taking, well, he's taking some trips without me, but anyway, that we're not taking a trip together, um, and I'm leaving, so he's gonna watch Oliver for me. At least I'm making him watch Oliver for me. And he's going to stay over at my house instead of taking Oliver to his. So I decided to get some spare keys made. I did have spare keys made, the ones that I gave to my neighbor. However, like go to find out when I was in Vancouver a couple weekends ago, I asked her if she would be able to check on Oliver just like one night while I was away. And I had the wrong keys made. Like, I don't even know how you do that. Oh my God. I realized because, okay, so one, I have two keys, but one of the keys was just a lot longer. And I'm like comparing it. I'm like, this is, I got the wrong fucking key made. Like, how do you, how do you do that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So anyways, I had to re go and make new keys essentially. So I'll have to, uh, remind myself to switch out hers. But now, my boyfriend has a set. So yay, that's all completed. That story time's over. God, don't you hate like when that stuff happens? It's like, what was I thinking in that moment? You know? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Excuse me, Oliver, this is for me. So yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna relax. I'm going to I'm gonna relax. Hi, babe. It's juice. Is that what you smell? Is it this? Oh, you don't like that. It's pretty tart, huh? Yeah. You see that face? He's not feeling it. No juice for you, more for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have lunch, I'm gonna work, and that's that. I don't know about you, but the best way, in my opinion, to experience Chipotle is to get a bowl, and then you get the chips, and then this is essentially a huge dip, you know? Guys, it's so good. It's one of my favorite meals. Is that sad? I don't think so. It's so good. Also, if you didn't tell, I changed immediately when I got home. Who else does that? And I get like what I had on before was just leggings, but I can't. Well, okay, so my reason behind it, I have a cat and they're black leggings. And if I sit down, yet I do vacuum my couch a few times a week. I vacuum everywhere. There's, it's inevitable. You're going to get hair on you, right? And I just hate covering, having my black leggings being covered by hair. So I take it off to eliminate that. I feel like that's reasonable. That makes sense. So 
anyways and yeah leggings are comfortable and all but nothing's more comfortable than sweatpants okay and so comfy So I've decided I'm going to the gym. I'm just gonna try to clean up some of this before I leave. Guys, I'm dead, I'm dead. I just got back from the gym. I did all legs and then I threw in a few legs, shoulders and back as well. And a little bit of abs actually at the end. That was like after I was done stretching. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw in some abs. So, ended up doing that. But before I take a shower, sit down, all that stuff, I'm gonna, what I've been freaking saying all day, I'm gonna take out all this trash. I've been, I really need to do that. And I'm trying to check on the status of my effing talentless order. It said it was out for delivery at 9 a.m. So I've just been wondering where it's at. Cause usually all my mail is delivered by now. Arrival by 8 p.m. Girl, you are insane. Keep you posted on that then, on when it comes. goods I'm referring to is talentless. I'm so excited. Let me try to like put you somewhere. Let's open. The funny thing about it is that I got like a few different sizes. I'm not, I have no idea what size I am in talentless. But, so I got a woman's small, only because, in this t-shirt, only because a woman's extra small wasn't available. And I was like, well, let's just see if it's cute and oversized, right? Lighting is terrible, sorry about that. So I got the logoed one that says talentless, the talentless on the back. And it's in this really pretty blue color it says the color is slate blue, and that's women's. I got the women's premium tee in the color sand, and this is in an extra small. I thought that this would be a really pretty neutral color. So this is what this one looks like. It reminds me of just like what all the Kardashians wear, like those tones, you know? And then, so, what I found very interesting is that the women's tops, let's see if it says the prices. Oh, it does, good. So the women's <laughs> top, so this one is $42 and the other one with the logo on it is 48. However, the youth sizes, girl, I think we have something potentially that I wanted to try out. So the youth size, I got a youth large, which should convert over to a woman's extra small, small in there. Um, the only thing that might be an issue is 
the fit. You know how like women's, I feel like they always tailor it a little bit more than they would a kid's because of, you know, curves and shape and all that stuff. But with a plain t-shirt like this, I like it to be more of like the men's look where there's just no, can we move? Ugh. Where there's just no shape to it, if that makes any sense. So let's try this on. Oh, and the whole point about it is that it's a fraction of the cost. It was only $24, so essentially it's like half the price. So I got it in silver gray to try out. It does look bigger, nice. So we'll try these on and we'll see. And then most of the women's, most of the women's stuff was sold out, let's be real. Like this is, seems like a very popular brand. And especially like what I wanted. And so I tried, I got a men's in an extra small in this sweatshirt. And it's, a, it's one of the logo ones. And it's a crew neck sweatshirt. Oh, nice. This is really thick. Really thick, actually. Makes me wonder if I'm gonna like it. Okay, so it's, this says, talentless since 1983. And then on the back, talentless. I thought this would be so cute right now with like bike shorts, but leading into fall with, you know, sweats or leggings just to throw on, I think it would be such a cute look. You know, if you want to add some like jewelry or some gold hoops or something like that. Mm, I really like it. So I definitely need to feel this one out. Love the color. I don't think I said what color it is. I think it's bone. Love the color. I don't like that this band is like super constricting. If I want it to be oversized, you know, I want it to be like looser. But I do love the back. The sleeves are long. Let's see, hang on. How do we think it looks with bike shorts? Do we like it? No. Let's go look in the Let's go look in the mirror. Hmm. I'm slightly undecided on it. Let me know your thoughts below on them. I need to know if it looks normal on me or if it does look way too big, too oversized. And like those things I was mentioning about this be constricting if that's like a real thing. Otherwise, I think the quality is great. It is really thick material. Color, on point. Wow, today really did take a turn. It's like pouring down rain right now. But anyway, sorry, I'm on my iPhone. I'm on my way to Juan's house right now to spend the evening with him and just enjoy the, the, the night because we only have a couple more days until I leave for San Francisco, San Francisco, LA and San Diego. So I wanted to uh, just enjoy the time with him. Um, so I am ending the vlog here, but I really hope that you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Enjoy your night.